Toronto traffic a crime to you? Is it a crime? <laughs> it truly is. It really is. I, but you know what? I I try to stay zen about the whole thing. The construction has to happen. So while it's happening, I just... And if I don't have to go anywhere, I don't. For sure. Canada's biggest celebration of black excellence is back. The third annual Legacy Awards. It's bold, powerful, and unforgettable. So let's go talk to the stars. Tell me about the significance of having the Legacy Award here in Canada. Um, this is something that Stefan, James, and Shamir Anderson are building, and they're building it with a lot of people together. I'm really glad to be a part of this. I think black cultural um, work and black creativity needs to be celebrated more. We have put some people on the world stage coming out of this country, and we need more people to know about what's going on here. Honestly, I think it's so great because it just shines a light on other creators that look like ourselves. It makes, spaces, it makes space for us as well. It amplifies our voices, and I think that's something we really, really need in this space right now. We need this to stay, and, and I'm, I'm grateful. I, I watched the, the ascension. You know, year one, I sang with Melanie Fiona and Sate, and you know, Fifi Dops in year two, I got inducted, and here I am getting to in, induct my best guy friend. It's a night for us to get together and celebrate and just be happy for once. Look at the world. You know, you're like the this media company is covering the reality of the world all the time. So this is good news. So it's nice to just acknowledge that we're in a good moment. We see a lot of entities around the world that celebrate, um, you know, black talent. And I think that, you know, we've just been inspired by our community so much that we wanted to find a way to give back. And so this is really that. It's um, us saying that we'd love to create a space for black excellence in Canada to be celebrated. Um, and we do that with the Legacy Awards. So it's a blessing to be uh, going into year three. This is like stuff that I wish I had seen growing up. So I think being a part of Legacy Awards and like just seeing how excited that like the youth of Toronto is just to watch it tonight. It's it's really exciting and I think it's really special. What's your favorite food spot in Toronto? Ooh. I'm gonna there's a small moms and pops walk-in restaurant in, in the York Gate Mall in Jane and Finch called Montego. It is the best Jamaican food. Okay? So that's what I'm giving my, my vote to. Everyone drive up. Go up there and get that good food like how Granny used to make it. Oh man, they always try and get me. I can't do I can't do a one. Top three I would say is I always gotta list pie just because they are the the be, like the best Thai food. And I discovered Thai food late in life. Ooh, a new favorite that I really love, believe it or not, and I'm not even a glizzy guy, I don't even deal with hot dogs, but Japa dog is actually insane. You know what, then I'm gonna shout out, I know it's a Randy's night tonight, but I'm gonna shout out Kingston 12, cause they're a new one, and Kingston 12 has been super dope on the patty front. Soto Soto or Harvest 60, that's where I got my OVO chain. Drake gave me my OVO chain at Harvest 60 on my birthday, so you know. And I be going to Harvest 60, like the private room there is just so legendary, you know. Best mac and cheese in the city. And I'm pretty simple, so I like, like Cactus Club. You know, that's somewhere I hit. Club. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. It's gotta be something. Else. I know. Yeah. I, was, I mean, I'm, I'm simple, you know. What do you think about Tron traffic? I hate it. Do you take the TTC? No, 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 no. I'm more of a DVP type of guy, you know? I'd be using that DVP, but I hate the DVP. It's always jammed up. So I'd be 407 living, you know? See, boy, smiles. I love my city. I love it to death, but. That, that it needs it needs improvement, you know. All the cars combined with the construction, it just makes it it makes it unbearable sometimes. So maybe we can build like an underground tunnel or something to kind of alleviate some of the traffic. But a lot of people want to live in the city. That's what it is. A lot of young folks watch the brand and go on a show. For those watching right now, what advice would you give them that want to get into this industry or even aspire to become you? Uh, I don't even know how to take that. A lot of young folks because my young man still, you know, like so even the people my age that are watching, we're we're young people. But no, I'm joking. <laughs> you know what? What I would say, especially in this. In this, 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 this day and time where it seems like everything that we're doing in the entertainment business is about everything outside of the actual gift and the craft, no matter what it is that you decide to do, focus on the gift. Who you're in a relationship with, where you live, what car you drive, that's just noise. For the young people, the only way to be able to create a legacy that will last is to make sure that you always honor the gift. And I think from when you honor the gift, everything else will fall into place. Hey, it's BG and I want to know, what do you think about what you just watched? Make sure to drop your thoughts in the comments below, but also make sure to check out even more great content like this video and this video over here. And if you haven't subscribed to The Branding Gona Show, do so right now by clicking this button right here.